Today I am sharing 25 designer inspired items from Amazon. I'm really excited because I think this is really good for two reasons. Number one, sometimes people don't want to spend the pretty penny on a designer item. And so these look very expensive and designer esque, but then also sometimes people maybe down the line do want to splurge on a designer item, but they want to kind of practice with something less expensive first to see if they even like it. So as we go along, everything will be linked down below in the description box according to the number that you see on screen. And then I'll also pin all of the links to the comment section. Up first we have my beloved Cartier love rings, which I'm just like in general Cartier obsessed. I've got rings, I've got bracelets, like I just love it. It's expensive. Is it worth it to me? Yes, but to a lot of people, heck no, which is understandable. But if you've been wanting to dabble in that world, you could order these rings. They look great. And I ordered the yellow gold and the white gold to kind of mimic what I do in my middle finger here. I like to mix the metals. Uh, it's just a personal preference, but yeah, these are really good. They look great. And again, I think it's a great option to kind of test it out. Now under number two, I'm going to link the Cartier inspired nail ring. So you can also get that if you want to try that. I do also have the nail ring. I've got a nail bracelet actually. And I really do love that design. I think it's a little bit different. It's a little bit edgy and also comes in yellow and silver. And then of course we cannot forget about the Cartier inspired love bracelet, which that's like what started it all. It's what everyone really, really, really loves. So of course I can link some from Amazon at a crazy good price. I'm also going to link a version from Miranda Fry, which is one of my favorite jewelry brands. They're actually semi fine. So they're obviously not even close to designer prices, but they are a much higher quality than Amazon. So you can always use my code Shay for 10% off their whole site. This is not sponsored at all. I promise, but I really like their version of like the Cartier love bracelet, and it comes in many, many sizes. So you can really get it to fit your wrist. Well, also gold and silver. And then also FYI, the Shea, uh, uh, hoops that are also by Miranda Fry. I think I mentioned these months ago here on my channel. These were named after me. Uh, I mentioned them on my channel and they were sold out at the time. And I know a lot of you wanted them. They basically have like gems on the inside and outside of the little huggy hoop and they're just so wearable. And so I just wanted to mention that they are actually back in stock. So if you wanted to pick them up, they are available. Another really popular designer bracelet are the Dior friendship bracelets. Now this is a much more affordable one from Amazon that I can link. This one says J'adore instead of J'adore. Um, but basically it's different in that it's kind of a textile or material piece and it's very adjustable. And because it is a material, it actually is a very comfortable bracelet that stacks really nicely with other pieces. Quick disclaimer, this next item is the last jewelry piece and it's Chanel inspired. And so as we go through this video, there are going to be some items inspired by big names like Chanel, Hermes, Gucci. But I also just wanna tell you that I also found some items that are inspired from brands like Free People, Lululemon, because those brands are very expensive too. And I found some better options, but back to these earrings. So these really, really, really look like Chanel, like a lot. So if you've been wanting this look, but for way less, this is a great option. I mean, normal Chanel ear earrings are like $800. It's kind of crazy to me. Um, so this is a much better option. I did get yellow gold with the pearl detail, but there's quite a few options and they definitely look high end. Continuing on with Chanel, I am so excited to share these next because I love them so much. They're the Chanel inspired slingbacks, which are the most iconic, the most classic pair of Chanel shoes out there. And I used to have the real version of these, which I did love, but they were just my wrong size. I always do that some, sometimes. I kept them for a long time because I love them so much, but I literally never wore them because they were just too big. So I sold them probably I think last year and I kept hearing about this version on Amazon that was just a much better option. So I ended up ordering them. I'm telling you guys, they are so good. They are more comfortable than the actual real ones um, and they are true to size. So I wanna make that clear because a lot of times when you see my heel in the back, I tend to size up half a size, but based on the reviews, I was like, no, I should not do that. So I did get a seven and a half, which is my real size and they fit perfectly and they just look so good. Next we have, 
have an Hermes inspired scarf. Now I've never really been that into scarves, but I know there's quite a few people that are because there's a lot you can do with them. So this has like the horse carriage on it. I like how it's neutral. You can tie this onto bags to kind of give it some extra detail, elevate it, make it look more expensive and more designer. You can also tie this around your neck. Like there's a lot of things you can do with this and it is fairly large. It's a big square and it's not silk at all, but it feels like it. Now we're moving into the designer inspired handbags, which is a different world for me because if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, I mean like I love a good designer bag. Like I started my YouTube channel in the designer handbag world. I collect them, I unbox them, I share them. Even the last clip you just saw, that was a real Hermes Birkin way too pricey, but I actually bought that one as an investment piece and it was a good decision because it's gone way up in price. For the most part, I love a good designer bag. I couldn't care less about designer clothes, shoes, and some accessories. But anyway, we're gonna start with the Bottega Veneta inspired bag. I don't really love this brand too much, but I love it enough that I decided to get the inspired version. It's just so buttery and I love the woven detail. I just wouldn't wanna spend like, the full amount of designer money on this because I just don't think I would wear it enough, but I, I do like it for some occasions. It doesn't hold a ton, but it's just so cute. Like I love how it's kind of like a top handle thing. And again, it doesn't hold that much, but I, I do like the style. I love it in the neutral color. I would also love black. Green is really, really popular too. So there's quite a few options. Now this bag is what I call the B bag and I've had it for quite some time and it totally reminds me of Gucci. So I thought I would share it, but it served me well. Like I do really like how there's two sections. Actually the zipper is so buttery, um, but yeah, there's two sections, uh, one in the front and then one in the back. And it, it does come with like this other kind of like bizarre strap to me that does not look designer, but I would say just, just use the, the main, the main white strap and you can adjust it to be crossbody or over your shoulder. But yeah, the compartments are really nice and just the coloring, the, de the design in general, very Gucci-esque. I've also had this tote for quite some time also very much looks like Gucci. I've, I've used this for so many random things. Like it's a pretty big tote. Like I've used it as like kind of an everyday bag and then I've used it for groceries and then I've used it as a beach bag. Like it's just cool. Like it looks expensive. It's totally not. So definitely recommend this. Under this number, I'm going to link several add-on strap options, which again, look very designer and you can purchase them to add on to your existing bags that you already have. Like you just take off the strap that it already came with, add on these and suddenly the bag looks more designer. So these first two, again, look more Gucci, whereas this one looks very Fendi. This one definitely looks very Fendi to me. And so I took a black bag that I already have, added this on, and suddenly I like the bag way more. It looks more high end. Now this one, as you can see, this is a, a regular, very, very inexpensive bag from Amazon. And I just replaced it with this. And suddenly it's more Gucci. Okay, this is the last Gucci thing, I promise. I know I'm going on and on and on, but this Gucci bag, it's Dionysus inspired. Uh, I'm gonna link it under this number just because it has really, really good reviews. I don't want it or personally need it at all, but I just thought maybe you guys might be interested in it. But again, it has amazing reviews and it's just one of those bags that you can adjust the strap really easily to be a crossbody or shoulder bag and it can look great casual or really dressy. This is the last handbag I have for you guys and it is a good one. I am. So so impressed with this. It's the Cult Gaia inspired bag. It is so sparkly. Like it catches the light in your eye. Just, oh my gosh, it's done so well. I love it. It's definitely more of like an upscale bag. Something you would have for like a date night, going to a wedding, maybe like I'm going to Vegas next month. So I'm planning on bringing this and it is the large size. Just so you know, there's also a medium, which based on the reviews, you cannot put the medium over your shoulder. And I did want to be able to put it over my shoulder just to be hands-free. So this is the large. It holds actually quite a bit, but it is just Stunning, I love it. If you are enjoying this video and you're an Amazon lover like me, then consider subscribing down below. Just maybe do, just think about it. I would love to have you back. I make a lot of Amazon videos. I order a lot and test out a lot and I really think I recommend the best stuff. Next we have these PJs, which I've shared before, but I'm sharing again because they totally look like Versace. They look like Versace PJs and I love them, not only because they are just so luxurious looking, but they feel so good against my skin. Like they're so 
silky and satiny and just smooth and they're a three piece set. So I feel like it's like good bang for your buck. But again, I just think they look really beautiful. I mean, if you don't love blue, they come in other colors, but I love wearing them and and I feel like I'm the queen of Versailles. I, is that some, I think that is somebody, I don't know. I feel like I'm a queen. I feel good in them. Now, speaking of Versace, wait till you see these sunglasses. They look like Versace sunglasses and they are so much better than I was expecting. Like sometimes when their sunglasses trying to be designer, they just look cheap, they feel cheap, not these. Like I love the detail on these. So definitely recommend them. The price is insanely, insanely good. Uh, now Ray-Bans, like people love Ray-Bans. I wouldn't say they're like, ooh, a high-end designer, but they kind of are. So this is Pro-Am <laughs> and they really look like Ray-Bans, like they, they, they really do. I'm very impressed with them. They legitimately feel very high quality. If you want that look like a good classic aviators, go for these. Okay, now we're gonna move into the world of like not full-blown high-end designers, but more designers that are still darn expensive. So Barefoot Dreams, let's talk about the blankets. They're like $120, $140. And I have so many real Barefoot Dreams blankets and inspired or dupes, if you will. Um, so much so that I confuse myself on what's real and what's not. So for the longest time, I legitimately thought this was like a real Barefoot Dreams blanket. Someone was at my house, was using it, and I'm like, no, that's, that's the real one. No, 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 it's not. This one's from Amazon. It is like, $39, I swear. It looks and feels identical. It's shocking to me. So it comes in many other tones as well. This one also, not really Barefoot Dreams, but I could be convinced that it is. Uh, so anyway, definitely check these out. The only thing that I wanna warn you is they come often like vacuum sealed and sucked out, but all you have to do is open it and fluff it up and oh, they're fantastic. Let's talk Lululemon next. And I'm gonna start with the scuba dupe, as I'm calling it, the scuba dupe, because this is the scuba pullover that's all the rage right now. Everyone wants this, and to me, this is a much more affordable option. It looks just as good, feels just as good. I got it in black, I love it in black. It just looks so nice with leggings. It's just like this sporty vibe, little athleisure look. And I, I, I love the neckline. It's just kind of like a mock neck. There is a zipper there, so if you wanna unzip it, show off some neckline, you can, but it's just a really nice, pullover at a much better price. Now the Lululemon belt bags are also very popular right now. I already showed you guys a few months back the Lululemon inspired fleece bag. I got it in like a camel color, but I don't, li I don't like how it comes off as more orange than camel. So even though I love the bag, I wish I would have gotten it in a different color. So there is that option. I'll link that under this number. But if you're more drawn to just like the classic nylon version, this is awesome as well. Uh, it, it really is just exactly like the Lululemon version. It holds quite a bit. There's there's a lot of compartments and there is the main compartment and also a back compartment. There's a nice clip here, very adjustable so that you can wear it crossbody, which is my favorite way, or the good old fanny pack style. I wanna talk about Free People next because I love Free People. I mean, it's such a good brand. It's very high quality, very expensive. And sometimes I do splurge on their clothes because again, the quality is really good, but sometimes I can find just as good and Amazon pieces that look like, it's like this tunic. Okay, we're gonna start there. This Free People inspired tunic. It is a little bit oversized on purpose, but it definitely looks like Free People at a fraction of the price. It's very basic, very wearable. There's a lot you can do with it. It's so comfy. It's definitely on the casual side, like most Free People items are, but I love it. And we also have this Free People inspired onesie, as I think they call it. I mean, I'm gonna insert a few photos of this piece like from the Free People website. Like this is what it's trying to look like. And at first I was like totally not into this because I thought it was just kind of weird. But then I kept seeing, you know, some people wear it and I thought, wow, it does look really comfortable. There was a lot of people raving about it. So I ordered this Amazon version and wow, I am so impressed with it. It's, it's kind of like an instant outfit. It's kind of like a jumpsuit in a way, but like a super, super comfortable one, so it's something that I can wear around the house, but I can also wear out and about, run errands, like actually go out into the world in it, and it looks really cute. Now with that 
onesie jumpsuit thing, you do need to put like a tank top or crop top underneath and then you just put that over top. So it's a perfect segue into Free People's famous Happiness Runs crop. I mean, that is a very famous, well-loved crop top. And I found a much better version on Amazon. It's a three pack and it comes in tons of color options. I got the neutrals, uh, but it's just like a comfortable, easy to wear crop top that looks really good underneath that onesie thing. But also I wear them underneath cardigans, jackets. You can wear them on their own. They're just really good. And again, it's a three pack. So the price is fantastic for what you get. We have to talk about the UGG inspired boots. These were such a good purchase by me. They are like half the price of the real UGG boots and can't even tell the difference. I mean, these feel very high quality. I mean, they're so soft. I wear them all the time. They're pretty dirty on the bottom, but I do like the low cut version. I like them with leggings. I like them even with jeans, some socks peeking out. I mean, all the celebrities wear them uh, and you can get them in whatever color you really want. The UGG chestnut color with like this popular color is often sold out on UGG's website. So definitely recommend these. Also the platform form. UGG inspired boots. I can also link those on Amazon. Those are also very popular, but I don't have them. Next we have these Steve Madden slides that totally look like Dior slides. I mean, like they really do. I love these. I feel like these are going to be my sandals of the year. Um, so you can get these on Amazon. I think I did order these on Steve Madden's website, but then I found out later you could just get them on Amazon. Um, but I did get the ones that say St. Bart's. They're like the black and camel coloring, but they also have ones that say Paris that are more navy and camel. There's some neutral options, but these are just so pretty, very comfortable and true to size. And then we have the Stony Clover inspired bags and pouches. So Stony Clover is just like a really popular brand that just has like interesting like travel pouches, makeup bags, toiletry bags with words on them. Like I'll insert a photo of, of like really what is popular. Um, you see these everywhere and they're like cute. They're kind of very juvenile to me, um, but I know a lot of people really like them. And I did end up getting this from Amazon that totally looks like Stony Clover. It just has snacks obviously. And I got it in blue because I keep a lot of the kids snacks in our car. So this is really cool, but I do like some of the toiletry bag options. Like some say glam, there's some that say skin. Um, you can get a lot of different different color tones and configurations. So I will link a few options down below under this number. Everything in this video will be linked down below and pinned in the comment section. If you're new, please subscribe and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.